Please bring your blocks forward, one on each side of your mat. That way they'll be ready for us when we need them. From tabletop, right away we're headed to down dog. So spread those hands nice and wide. Tuck your toes and with hips moving up towards the sky, let your head hang. Take a little time here to wake up your dog. Move your hips, move your heels. Tap back into that breath. Again, that is your source of power. Keeping that focus on what is right here in front of you and this time you've chosen for you. Settle your left heel towards the mat. Take your right leg high. Now, if this is too much, please bring your left knee to the mat. We'll bend the right knee, stack the hips open for a few breaths and take that right leg and move it around. Circle the ankle, move the knee. Preparing these legs for what's coming up. Straighten out the legs, square your hips off to the mat and bring your knee toward your nose. Step your foot up in between your hands and let's ease that back knee down to the floor. A little wiggle side to side once you're there. Ah, that feels nice, yeah? Opening the hips. Now you can stay low right where you are or tuck your back toes, lift the knee. We'll make it a little bit stronger of a pose now. From here, fingertips to floor or can you bring your arms behind you? Add a little squeeze of the shoulder blades, energy shooting out your fingertips towards the back of your mat. Now don't forget about your breath. Keep it flowing, two more. Oh, good job. Bring the fingertips down, bring the knee down. If you lifted it and we're pushing back for hamstring stretch, we've got to get these legs warmed up and ready for what's to come. Right heel moves forward, long right leg. You might choose to grab your blocks if your hamstring's a bit tight today. And then find a little length, exhale some softness. With your toes pointing straight up on that right foot, start to wave them side to side a little bit. And then make sure that breath keeps flowing while you turn your toes as far to the right as you can. It might get a little spicy there. Just the right amount, yeah? Left hand to the block over here on the right. Add a little twist. How does that feel? Notice your breath. Ah, so good. All right, let's untwist. Rebend the knee and bring that right leg back. Heading back to tabletop or downward dog, wherever you did that three-legged dog from before, go there. Hips high or knee down. Left leg shoots up to the sky, bend your knees, stack your hips, and move it around. <sighs> Ankle rolls, hydrating, creating some space in those joints. and then straighten out the leg, get the knee forward towards your nose, step between your hands. Again, the low lunge to start, here we are. Side to side a little bit, loosen it up. Ah, stay right there or energize it. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Here we go, fingertips to floor or those strong arms reaching to the back of the mat. Feel a little squeeze in your tricep muscles, your shoulders. Good job, exhale down with the fingers down with the knee, push the hips back, and again, option for blocks, always nice, they're there. Let's slide the heel forward and find your hamstring stretch, bowing forward slowly. Toes up, add that little sway side to side. Noticing. And then let's dial the toes to the left and see how that feels. Just that right amount. And then take the right hand over to meet the left. Good job. One more inhale there. And then exhale, let's release. 
re-bend the knee, move the blocks, we're headed back to tabletop and into our down dog again. From this down dog, please take your right leg high, step it forward, coming up to high crescent lunge. So steady on those feet as you rise up. Take a moment to get settled, push into that back heel, your leg is working for you. Once you feel stable in the low body, take the arms up. Soften the shoulders. We'll start to build a simple flow here. So I want you to take it with your breath. Exhale, the arms come down and behind you, like we did in that long lunge. Shift onto your forward leg and with an inhale, lift the left leg up, warrior three. Does not matter how high you lift it. Step the toes back down as you exhale, high crescent. Inhale, reach back up. And that's our flow. Exhale, arms lower. Inhale, slowly shift and lift a little squeeze of the left leg. And then toes down. Here we go. Inhale, reach. Trying to smooth it out each time you move through that flow. Exhale, forward. Inhale, a lift. Toes back down. Reach it up. Let's try one more. Here we go. Exhale. Lift and squeeze. Can it go a little higher? And toes down, nicely done, reach to the sky, take a breath in. Let's move into prayer twist, hands come to the heart. As you bring it over towards the right thigh, ask yourself, is this good? High lunge, or you can bring that left knee down. Ah, finding that magical breath, that even in a challenging pose, we can find the peace. Nicely done. Untwist with an inhale. Hands down to the floor with your exhale and we're stepping back. High plank. Pause there. Take a breath in. First chaturanga of our practice today. Would you like to go high to low or ease those knees to the mat? I'll modify this first one. Down to the belly. Inhale a little cobra or a bigger up dog. And let's press back downward dog. Here we go. Side two, left leg goes high. Step it forward, up to high crescent. Take a moment again to find your steadiness, to feel grounded. <sighs> Lift and float those arms. Find your breath, breathe in. Exhale, arms down and behind, shift and explore. Warrior three, here we go, lift. Exhale, toes back down, inhale, reach. Again, smoothing it out for a few more rounds. Exhale to fold. Inhale, a lift. Exhale, toes down. Reach it back up. Again, flowing forward. Lift and squeeze. Touch it down one more time. Exhale. This time, can you give that little extra squeeze, extra lift of the right leg? And toes back down, reach. Breathe in. Prayer twist to the other side. Again, find your steadiness. With the breath, with the gaze, you can bring the right knee down if that makes it a better pose today. Starting to feel that strength, balance, the power of your breath. One more breath in and out. And then inhale, untwist, exhale, hands to mat. We're headed back to plank, breathe in. Chaturanga, high to low or that knees down version. Up dog with an inhale, enjoy it. Oh yeah. And exhale, down dog. Reset hands, reset feet, notice for a moment. How's the body feeling? Take a breath in, lift your right leg high again. We're rising back up to high crescent lunge, so find that same place we were before. Take a moment, get steady, get grounded. Arms reach. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the back knee, lower down. Keep your chest lifted though. Inhale, straighten everything, reach up high. Exhale, bend and lower. Two more of those. Exhale, lower. One more. Reach up. 
Hands come to prayer at your heart. We're moving to warrior three for a hold, so shift. Hop the back toes in a little bit, get steady. And then slowly build. Lift the leg, pause. Check in on your left hip. Is it floating a little higher than the right? Give it a little nudge down. Option for those energetic arms reaching behind you again. Courage, courage, courage. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Inhale. Exhale. Step back to high lunge. You made it. Take a breath. Reach up. Exhale. Hands through prayer down to the floor. Step back. High plank. Breathe in. Chaturanga flow. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale, down dog, and we will keep on flowing. Take that left leg high. Step it forward high, crescent lunge, rise. Again, find your steady and reach. Inhale here, exhale, bend and lower. Inhale, reach. A few more of these, exhale, bend. Reach and bend. Reach up high, hands to prayer. We're building warrior three for that hold, so shift. A lift the back leg, get steady and strong. Check your right hip. Option for your energetic arms, reach. Again, courage. Courage to try things that might not work out. And being okay with that. Another breath in, you made it. Exhale, toes down, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to prayer and to the floor. Step to plank, do you have another chaturanga in you? Otherwise you can go to child's pose. Up dog. Down dog. One more flow here, lift that right leg high. Step forward, high crescent. We've been here a few times, so find it. Get steady. Now this time, we're shifting into warrior three right away. Bring your hands to prayer. Shift, lift the left leg. Now I have a little challenge for you. Can you from here come up to stand in marching and the answer might be no, I need to touch my toe down and then get steady and lift my knee. All right, cross it over figure four. Stay right there or bring your hands to your hips, sink your hips a little lower, hands to shin, or using those blocks you have there. They can come forward, reset the leg, and then, ah, settle on down there. Push the hips back, you're getting a nice stretch in your outer hip, your glutes that just worked quite a bit in that flow. Two more breaths here. Ah, start to rise up as soon as you can. Uncross the standing, the leg that's crossed over the standing leg. Inhale, reach to the ceiling and exhale, forward fold. Half lift up, back to the mat, hands down, step to plank, chaturanga, up dog, and back to down dog. Ready for side two, home stretch here, left leg high. Step it forward, high crescent, pause, hands at heart. And right away, we're building warrior three. Shift and lift. From here, different leg, can you lift it all the way up into marching? Get steady. Cross it over figure four. Woo, (laughs) ha ha ha, catch yourself if you start to go down like me. And then the hips go down. Hands to the hips, push them back. You have those blocks there. If you use them last time, you can use them again. Push the hips back, nice stretch. All right. How's your breath doing? Check back in. And let's rise up as soon as you can. Uncross the foot, step down, stand tall, mountain pose. Appreciate those strong legs. Take a breath in and a slow breath out. Inhale, arms go up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. 
Now this time, rather than a chaturanga, I want you to lift your heels and ease your sit bones down to the floor. Oh, yes. Stretch those hardworking long legs out in front of you and then crawl your hands forward just to that perfect place where you can soften. Let your shoulders round, let your neck relax. Slow your breath down here. A little rock side to side on your sit bones. And then notice if you have any things in the way for when we come down onto the floor, I'm going to move my yoga blocks so they're not there where they're going to touch my toes when I stretch out long. Once your things are moved, head on down to the floor. Oh, yes. Take a big stretch of gratitude for those hardworking legs. <sighs> and then take your arms and stretch them out to your sides. We'll move into a reclining twist, so bend the knees. A little shift of the hips left, and the knees go to the right. Find a place right here that feels effortless. It feels like you could stay here for a long time. And then start to slow the breath down. Make sure your head's in a comfortable position. <sighs> Very nice. Take two more breaths right there. Just heavy body, resting and breathing. <sighs> Bring it back to center with an exhale. Scoot your hips to the middle and then give those knees a little hug into your chest. You can pick your head up, curl into a little ball. That feels nice to the spine. Mm. Ease the head down, lower the feet, arms wide, side two of your twist. So a little scooch of the hips to the right, the knees roll over to the left. Make sure your shoulders and your head feel nicely placed. Ah. Oh back to that breath. Your source of power, not only for the active, energetic parts of life, but also that power to bring yourself ooh, down, down into the peaceful place, in spite of what's going on around you. Bring it back to center, hips to middle, knees to chest. Give your body a little rock side to side. And then lower your feet to the mat. Bring your knees wide, soles of feet together. Rest one hand on your low belly, one hand just slightly above that where your arms feel comfortable. And I want you to take three really beautiful full breaths here. All the way down into the lowest part of your belly. That's your diaphragm pressing down. And then empty slowly. <sighs> Let's add a sigh with the next two exhales. In through the nose. <sighs> One more like that. <sighs> Feel that relaxation response starting to flow through your body. If you need one final pose, maybe a little stop in happy baby, you're welcome to go there. But then I want you to head into your comfortable place to rest. It might just be sprawled out on the floor, feet flopping, or propping yourself up with whatever you need. 